हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डायट एडमी आई एस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर एज यू कैन सी मैनेजमेंट ऑप्शनल दिस सब्जेक्ट इज बेसिकली कम्स आफ्टर वंस यू क्लियर द प्रिलिम्स एंड इट कम्स एज वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट समटाइम्स मैनेजमेंट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ फॉर इट एंड समटाइम्स अदर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम अदर सब्जेक्ट बैकग्राउंड ऑल्सो डू सेलेक्ट द सेम ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट there is a myth about uh, management optional that students consider especially for uh, preparing for upsc while preparing for upsc that they feel that the syllabus is quite lengthy and i would say that this is not actually the case uh, this is how this is this is just a myth about the subject it is more of the understanding of the subject and many of the majorly subjects you have covered while preparing for your gs and other uh, subjects right so let's just quickly begin um, for un by understanding what this uh, management optional is once you get the grip of the subject believe me you can easily secure very good marks in the answer writing concept in paper 1 as well as paper 2 let's start with the strategy as you can see on the board that this management optional has paper 1 paper 1 and paper 2 there are basically six subjects that comes under paper 1 and similarly there are six subjects that come under paper 2 right if you can focus on the subjects these are your core theory subjects the four subjects and these two in particular accounting for managers and financial ma ma management comes under the your numerical subject right and when i say they are these are numerical subject please don't understand it in a fact that they would be difficult numericals are supposedly considered to be much more scoring when it comes to attempting the paper because while writing the paper these are two subjects once you get the understanding of the uh, the way that you have to attempt the answer you can easily complete the questions in these two uh, particular subjects very easily right and as per the previous year uh, questions if you have seen or you have come across of any of those uh, subjects uh, questions in the pyqs also you can see that when it comes to the other four subjects it is very much factual as well as it uh, real life uh, integrated right real life concepts integrated so you can consider these other four subjects as an amalgamation of the factual as well as the uh, conceptual uh, concepts right so let's now uh, move on to paper 2 paper 2 has basically again six subjects and strategic cost management ib that is international business mis and production and operations uh, management are the theoretical subjects there are certain numericals when it comes to scm but regarding cost accounting but that is a different uh, like you know completely different uh, understanding because then you have some factual concepts also so you don't have to focus much on the numerical part in this one but yes when we talk about qti i that is quantitative decision in uh, quantitative techniques in decision making you have to understand there are there are a lot of static st statistics based numericals so there are hypothesis testing that uh, there are p charts etc etc so you have to understand these subjects in context of statistics so once you start doing the practice of the questions you are able to easily secure in this subject as well so now let's just move on to the other uh, understanding of, I, so i'll separately start uh, making you understand the different different uh, strategies for the different different subjects you will be able to very easily complete your syllabus as well and you will be the most important thing students here to focus on is your answer writing see paper like once you have completed your prelims it's all about when it comes to the other subject and especially when i talk about your optional subject you have to majorly majorly focus on your answer writing because once you start getting a gist of your answer writing especially in your optional subject it becomes very very easy for you once your exam approaches what happens is students don't take their optional subject seriously so many times despite securing good marks in their other gs papers they get stuck when it comes to their optional subject and the marks you no know, they vary 
so you have to make sure that the optional subject is also considered important while preparing for your gs the the major thing that i would suggest here is practicing and answer writing at regular intervals once you have completed these subjects the topics that once you have covered start answer writing simultaneously don't wait for the end of the you know completion of all the subjects or paper 1 or paper 2 and you know some students think that okay gradually later on we'll uh, take on those subjects and we'll start ri answer writing i would personally suggest it to all of you all those students who are preparing for management optional to make sure even if you have completed your right now focusing on one subject of let's say paper 1 and you're doing one particular topic as soon as the topic finishes start attempting your previous year questions and start doing your mock test regarding the answer writing right so let's just move on to the further for slide and start seeing what happens or what comes in paper 1 see paper 1 is basically of 250 marks right some questions are of 10 marks some questions are of 15 marks some questions are for 20 marks so that is the variation that they divide depending upon the kind of questions they ask you also the time required for attempting paper 1 is 3 hours moving on there are eight questions that are asked and out of that five questions you have to attempt usually what happens is question number 1 and question number five are compulsory and the remaining are the choice that you have to make for uh, attempting the papers it is expected that you are going to at least take one questions from each section in your paper 1 and attempt it but yes paper 1 in paper 1 question number 1 and 5 are compulsory out of the eight questions like out of the sorry five questions that you have to complete right let's start with uh, the first subject for paper 1 that is management functions and operations this subject basically has a lot of understanding of the co the basic uh, theoretical concept what happens is here there is there are there are subjects like there's an a complete un under understanding or the introduction of the concept of the definition of management then you have evolution of management management uh, managerial functions planning organizing controlling then you have decision making roles of manager managerial skills so what happens is sometimes they ask direct factual questions uh, based upon your syllabus content but sometimes what they do is they try to understand that the students perspective regarding these theoretical concept in the context of real life so when i talk about real life you have to understand like right now the con the 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 topic in this subject entrepreneurship so what they do is they try to ask you uh, do the difference between the uh, what what uh, what is the difference between entrepreneur or intrapreneur so for students usually they have they have a good understanding of the term of entrepreneur but they get stuck when it is when they are being asked what is intrapreneur right so that is where the uh, thinking part comes while attempting the paper it, gradually when you are going to do the syllabus it's going to become easy you don't have to worry about that then we have management of innovation of course uh, in this current uh, dean and age this is one of the very very uh, considerable uh, topic then we have managing in a global environment what is since we all know we have the entire world is a global market so how this topic is going to be associated with the current scenario of global marketing uh, or management you have to uh, answer it depending upon that then you have flexible systems management social responsibility that comes under C csr right then pr uh, process and customer orientation managerial process and direct or indirect value chains so let me just tell you that how you are going to uh, go ahead and finish this subject the strategy that i i would really suggest to you is that first of all when you take upon any management subject you devote complete one day for understanding the syllabus see students to most of the students get stuck at a point where they have not understood the syllabus you have heard from a lot of experts from a lot of students who have cleared this exam that you know your syllabus is the like is it it is the main main uh, treasure that you have while attempting a upsc optional subject or any other gs paper for the matter of fact you have to understand this syllabus 
And when I talk about understanding the syllabus, you have to know that what all are the topics that are coming uh, or which, which, which are a part of that particular subject, right? So, the, so, so that there is absolutely no confusion when it comes to the, the topic that is coming in your uh, exam while attempting the answers. Then, especially this subject of man managerial functions and uh, process, it has to be, you have to devote at least 13 to 15 days for completion of this subject. There are, the, this is 15 days is the maximum days you can devote to this particular subject in the paper one. And as I always tell you that right, like after you have completed the subject, writing is basically an art, students, that you cannot learn from anywhere. You can just practice it and to become a master in it. Right? So as soon as you have completed the syllabus of uh, this particular subject, you can move on to answer writing practice immediately for at least good two days. Yes, for good two days, you have to attempt all the available previous year questions uh, you know, completely related to the subject that you have completed, that is managerial functions and processes. And once you have attempted the questions, you can give it to anybody uh, who is an expert or anywhere that you have uh, 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 available faculty where you can do th the review part will be done immediately. So it will be like you, you will get the feedback of your performance of writing. You will get an understanding that how much you have actually learned the subject, you, uh, what, what kind of, how much, like what is your niche in the subject and what are your areas of development. So make sure that review has to be done as soon as your answer writing practice has been done after two days. These two days are purely your answer writing. Majorly, what happens is students are able very much comfortable with the two days. So yes, they this is uh, that much maximum uh, requirement for answer writing for this particular subject is two days, right? Then we have the second subject from paper one that is organizational behavior and design. Here you have conceptual model of organizational behavior. Then you have individual process of, and personality. Then you have motivation, work stress, and stress management. Right now, in this current environment where there is a lot of uh, concepts of balance between work life and personal life, these subjects, in uh, these particular topics in management, have become very much relevant. Uh, you can even uh, find it from your PYQs that many times these questions are being asked, and. Uh, this is basically the other th subjects, the other topics that come under, our, uh, under it are dynamics of OB, leadership process, style, and communication. Um, recently, in one of the PYQs, a question came where they were asking about the uh, distinguish between a, the concept of a leader and a manager. So very much, very much related to the real life. This was not something factual. This, these kind of questions are such where you have to think before attempting the answers, right? They are, you have to write a lot of about the real life based examples so that the examiner gets an idea that the student is very well versed with what kind of uh, understanding he or she is having regarding this particular concept, right? Then let's move on. We have organization process and decision making. Then we have job design, job approach to organizational uh, design. This is one of, uh, recently this, uh, there has been a question uh, from this particular topic. Then you have organi organizational theory and design. You have organizational culture, managing cultural diversity, org learning organization, organizational change and development knowledge base, enterprise, network, and virtual enterprise. And post-COVID, many, many uh, top questions. I would say majorly the mindset of the examiners have drifted to a point where they are now focusing on the e-business concept, right? So virtual uh, enterprise and all those things are very much uh, in demand as per the question. You, you will even see in your PYQs, right? The strategy for OB or organizational behavior should be, again, you can take a break after completing your uh, subject, uh, the first subject. You can just take a one day break. Then you can quickly move on to the second subject and you can, you can devote one day for understanding of your syllabus. 
And then for organizational behavior, I would highly recommend that 10 to 12 days are more than sufficient for completion of this particular subject. Then you have, again, as I just recommended, you have to quickly do the comprehensive answer writing for two days max in max Mac to maximum, then as soon as this is completed, you can uh, submit it to any uh, expert that you have uh, Then that for the reviews, right? Please make sure that the reviews are uh, received and you start to work upon it as soon as you receive the same. Then we have the next uh, third subject of paper one, that is HRM, Human Resource Management. Uh, in this HRM, basically what happens is that students are, uh, it's, it's a very sick scoring subject. Believe me when I say this, this is the subject where you, you can, this, this particular subject you can secure very good marks because you ha can like, you know, put in very uh, real life-based examples and uh, this is uh, like uh, topics like job analysis, job evaluation, as I suggested, and recruitment and selection, right? These are, and as for, as for now, HRIM, that is Human Resource Management System, these are very much topics that are in demand in context of questions. So we can start with HR challenges, human resource challenges, human resource management functions, the future challenges, strategic management. Yes, this is also one of the very prominent topic where questions have been asked. Uh, and then you have human resource planning, as I suggested, this is again one of the topics that are very much asked right now, training and development, promotion, transfer, performance management, compensation, management and benefits. Then you have em employee morale and productivity, HRIS and international human resource management. With the concept of globalization very much in demand today, these topics are uh, frequently asked. right? So let's just move on to the strategy for this. Again, one day after that, uh, after completing OB, you can take one day break and you can move on to the one day understanding of your syllabus. See, I have, if you have noticed, I am very much clearly telling you to devote your one day for understanding the syllabus. This is basically the key, right? Then for HRM, you can complete the subject in maximum 10 to 12 days. Some students take 10 days, some students take 12 days. So it is usually depending upon the uh, understanding of the subject, HRM, you can complete it in maximum to 10 to 12 days, right? Then you have comprehensive answer writing. Here I would say that for the comprehensive answer writing, you can just devote one single day. One day is more than enough for you to to do the comprehensive answer writing of HRM, then you can quickly move on to the review part and you can submit it to someone who is an expert in the subject and who can guide you to the right way of attempting the answer in HRM, right? Now let's move on to the fourth subject and the first numerical subject of your management option that is accounting for manager. See, this accounting for manager subject has been divided into two sections. One is cost accounting and one is financial accounting. M many times what happens is students who are not from commerce background, they have a phobia regarding the fact that ma'am, like, will we be able to attempt the answers or the numericals based upon these two uh, subjects, be uh, sorry, these two topics. I would highly recommend to you that the golden rule here is to practice as many numericals that you are able to practice, because see, there is a standard pattern that comes when it comes to numericals. The, so the examiner also knows that there has to be a balance between the theory concept and as well as the numerical. So you can understand it in, in context of like, there's a 50-50 ratio. You can't completely, sometimes the ratio also changes, but preferably they have a balance, well balanced between that you can, somebody who has, like decently practiced for the numericals of those topics which are in this subject, he or she is able to attempt and go through this uh, particular subject very easily. It's secure, it's very sc scoring also, right? So uh, in, in like, the, like I just mentioned, there are some theoretical concepts also. Then you have, uh, for, the, for this particular subject, uh, for like for the two sections that I have divided, for particular financial accounting, you can take six to seven days for completion of this particular subject. And 
definitely your two days for your comprehensive answer writing, right? And then for the second part of this subject that comes as uh, cost accounting, you can again take six to seven days. You can divide it according to that. And then again, while, while practicing the numericals and everything, there are certain topics like, uh, you know, <clears throat> absorption accounting and such, uh, like different, different subject, uh, concepts. So you can take those subjects and practice them, uh, the numericals especially, right? Okay, let's move on uh, to the strategy that I just suggested. If you take a combined approach for this subject, uh, again, one day for understanding the subject, combined for the two uh, sections that I have divided, you will be able to complete it within 10 to 15 days very easily. Then two days you have for comprehensive answer writing. You can, uh, but since you have numericals also, please make sure that you are doing the numericals along with the subject don't like you know post like uh, try to think about it that pro uh, procrastinate to it to later part that okay to, today so I'll do the uh, like the, the theoretical or factual part but and I'll devote the numerical part later on no please don't do that make sure that with the answer writing you have practicing the numerical as soon as the topic is completed then again submit it to someone who's an expert and who's uh, very much able to give you a right feedback for the reviews to be done. Then we have financial uh, management. For this particular subject, I would suggest that you make sure that you are understanding the syllabus because what happens is, uh, don't just, what stu sometimes students think that this is just a complete, completely numerical based subject. Honestly, that's not the case as I have suggested. Yes, there are certain important topics as well. That like there are uh, capital uh, structure theory and all those things. But apart from that, you have to make sure that there is a simultaneous practice of the numericals as well in this topic. Just like the theoretical concept, I would not go m much in detail about how th that you can see from the when you'll start as attempting the, uh, completing the subject and you'll start observing the PYQs, you are going to very easily identify certain, uh, what would I say, uh, certain very, very important key terms that are coming regarding the numericals and you can practice them quite often and become a master in that, right? Uh, sometimes what happens is it's basically a numerical or factual concept of 50-50 ratio. Sometimes it switches to 60 to 40, but yes, the major difference is, or the, the major part of covering is not that much, right? Let's move on to the next subject. Uh, before that, let's do the strategy as I've discussed. One day is going to be your completely understanding of the syllabus, right? Since it's a, a, the second uh, numerical based subject, you have to again devote one day for the understanding of the syllabus. Moving on, since the 10 to 12 days of numerical and everything is there, so 10 to 12 days are more than sufficient. And since it's um, uh, has numerical, so it's a very scoring subject. And as I have just uh, s discussed this with you, that what happens is once you get a niche of the subject and you start understanding the concept of especially accounts-based subject, you can very, very easily score in this subject. You can get out of the mindset of that ma'am, especially for the non-commerce student, uh, they, they can easily, easily become a master in attempting these uh, you know, subject. Then, as I've suggested, two days are going to be your answer writing and numerical based practice. Please make sure that you are practicing the numerical simultaneously. I can't emphasize more on the fact that numerical based practice questions are as e important as the factual based question that you are attempting. Again, once you are done with that, you can submit it to your uh, faculty or anybody who's expert in the management uh, field and you can submit it for the reviews. Right. Let me move on to the next subject, and that's the last theoretical subject for paper one. Uh, it has the concepts of uh, evolution and the scope of marketing management, marketing strategies, segmentation, targeting the market, uh, marketing offer, analyzing the competition. 
then consumer markets, industrial buyer behavior. I, at the end of the, today's session, I'll be even discussing the PYQs with you, so you'll get a very good idea of the gist about the kind of questions that are asked uh, regarding your paper one and paper two. All right, then you have marketing research, product uh, strategy, pricing strategy, designing and management marketing channels, and so on. See, again, I would really, really say this, when it comes to theoretical subject in paper one, it is a very, very sick scoring subject, right? All you have to do is just amalgamate your answer with a real life based example. What happens, student, is most of the time, if I would uh, tell this to you that what is the difference between two students who are understanding the same concept, have, having the same mindset while learning, what is the difference between the kind of answer, uh, you know, the way or the structure of the answer? The major, major point here comes is amongst, if you compare the two students, one of who has secured little more and, or less is depending upon the way the he or she has attempted the answer. The examiner today is looking for someone who is very much aligned with the real life when it comes to attempting the answers. And for subjects like management, and for especially um, marketing uh, subject in uh, paper one for management, you can make sure that you are putting, explaining the concept or whatever the question is asked based upon the real life example that you can associate with the given question, right? Again, uh, you have to devote one day for understanding the syllabus. Then you have 10 to 12 days for completion of your syllabus, two days for your comprehensive answer writing, and finally, uh, you have to submit it for your reviews. Right? Uh, there are certain concepts like marketing research uh, and so on. Um, there's one uh, numerical also uh, in, in this. Sometimes it is asked, but you can majorly, majorly practice the uh, answer writing and uh, the, depending on the kind of questions that have been asked. Right? So now let's move on to the previous year questions trend for paper one. So here what I have done is I have made a list for the past three uh, years. What I've just given you a, like, a very small example to, for you to understand that what kind of a questions are asked when it comes to paper one. And you will, when you, you're going to see these uh, examples also, I have, uh, I have like made 12 questions. I have uh, made them available here, but these are just uh, like it's very small just for you for you to understand that how what is the basic major trend for attempting uh, paper one uh, if i can start with question number one for the year 2020 there is a factual question where you are just the concept of conservatism is being asked with the suitable example then similarly in the same year in the same uh, paper there the concept has been asked for you to be attempted but before before attempting you have to a student who has only who has an understanding of this concept can attempt such questions where it says the products differ in the ways of consumer by them so products differ in the ways consumer by, buys them explain the different categories of product products and relate them with the type of distribution approach so for a student who has understood the concept of distribution approach he or she can attempt the factual question for sure but then here they are not just asking you about the distribution approach they are asking you in association with the product and the consumer concept and so here you have to make sure that you are attempting the answer along with a real life example right that is highly recommended then you have uh, the factual question like that is uh, distinguishing between the lease and higher purchase then the fourth question here is they are asking the important trends in business. Somebody who is very well versed with what is the current scenario, what is the, how the current business market is, is uh, actually uh, like booming, you can attempt these kind of a question. How are these trends shaping HRM? Why is conventional human resource view being replaced by strategic HRM? 
if you guys remember i was when we were discussing the subject we have even, i was emphasizing on the fact that strategic hrm is very much in demand these days as as per the uh, question right let's move on to the uh, year to 2021 here you can see in the fifth part that variance analysis has been asked and uh, the possible reasons for uh, different cost analysis have been asked now in the same year the concept of marketing market segmentation is has been asked but what are the additional part here is they have asked you to prepare a comprehensive marketing research plan to identify and target markets of newly developed herbal preparations can you see that and this is it very much in alignment to the recent covid-19 situation in the world right so a student who has very well read about this concepts or is very much aware uh, uh, you know uh, aware about the current uh, affairs regarding this will be able to quote an example and will be able to beautify the answer right then the seventh question is here they have they have asked you what is swap then they have have asked you the common types of swaps and how are they investment induced uh, then the eighth question they have asked with the with the statement where they have told you that if states sales forecast is subject to error then there is no purpose of budgeting they have not asked you a direct question about budgeting they have like quoted something and then they have uh, asked you your opinions so do you agree how can a flexible budget be used to control cost right so that is how it is many times students are very much not aware of the fact that uh, how this particular uh, concept of let's say accountancy also why or the fm also why are they uh, studying it so you have to understand the background or the uh, you have to understand uh, have a clear clear like a clear, very clear picture about the way uh, about why you are reading that particular subject right then moving on uh, these uh, question uh, have been we have done let's move on to the ninth one what is the main difference between capital marketing and money market right now the 20 22 that is the last year for this paper one they have uh, very much i would say highly uh, they have made sure that the student is well read about the concept of the management syllabus so that's what i was telling you once you have taken a grip over the subject syllabus you are going to very much understand that this particular question is related to which topic and then you can frame your answer depending upon that right then you have the like the 10th question that you have they have said that researchers argue that challenges stressors operate quite different from the hindrance stressors give your views what are your uh, about what are the potential environment organizational and personal source of stress at work so like like i just told you these are very much uh, in demand today because there is a, there has to be a balance between the personal and the professional life and stress management is very much considered uh, an important concept in the work culture especially in india today so they have for the organizational su behavior subject they have framed this question for you and then they have asked her again a direct okay this question is very very much uh, understandable for a student who can really understand that what is the difference between a manager and a leader of course it comes uh, the role of a manager is a, a part of leadership only but there is a very key like a difference between the two right so i have to justify the answer with suitable examples right then the 12th or the last question for this paper one that we are going to discuss today in this particular session is change or die the rallying cry among today's manager enumerate, enumerate and explain three approaches they have asked you three approaches in alignment to this particular quotation or this particular statement that they have mentioned right in, uh, approaches to managing organizational changes okay let's move on to paper 2 in paper 2 we have again the same uh, aspect of uh, marks that is 250 marks uh, in total and then you have the time duration is for 3 hours right and the questions are 
majorly that are asked are eight and you have to attempt any five out of them. Question number one and five, just like in paper one, are your compulsory questions and the other questions are your choices. So you have to attempt the other three questions from both the sections. So at least one question is uh, selected from both the sections that are in the paper. So basically what happens is they have divided your paper, paper two also in two sections. So in those, among those two sections, question number one and five are your compulsory questions. And apart from that, the remaining questions, you can attempt from the uh, two sections depending upon your choice, right? Okay, so before I start discussing paper two, what happens is for many students when it comes to management optional, they have a, the, the real phobia comes in this paper two. Believe me when I say this, students, paper two is just like paper one, there is absolutely no difference. Yes, the syllabus is a little bit vast, right? I admit that, but honestly, when it comes to paper two, once you get a understanding of the syllabus and once you start practicing, answer writing is the key, right? And especially when the optional paper can make or break your result. So here, for optional subject also, you have to just move out of that phobia and you have to start like very uh, in a very disciplined manner. You have to follow the right strategy and there is, there is a for surety for you to clear this optional paper of management very easily, right? So let's just discuss uh, the paper two right now and get an understanding that what actually is there in paper two. The first uh, subject that we are going to do in paper two today is uh, quantitative techniques and decision making. It is basically your, if you have heard about this uh, subject of statistics in commerce, right? So this is majorly your statistics part. There are numericals asked from this subject. Uh, usually the percentage is about six to 70 percent. Uh, weightage of numericals is asked in this particular subject and uh, since uh, this is a statistic subject there are numericals that uh, you have to uh, start practicing and uh, develop a command over them right so the concepts or the part of this subject uh, the topics are descriptive statistics right introduction to probability discrete and continuous probability distribution. So there is, a, there are, there is a concept of hypothesis testing and all those things that comes here. So there, there are other uh, different, different kind of numericals depending upon the different uh, topics that you are studying. For example, chi-square, right? Correlation and regression. So just uh, depending upon uh, yes, an LPP or linear programming problems. So once you get an understanding about the concept of this particular subject, you can practice your numericals and secure well simultaneously. Now the strategy for this, so again, if I go back to the syllabus, see, the syllabus is not that much, that much like uh, difficult, honestly. The point, or sorry, not that much vast. The point is of understanding because these, these particular subjects are related to details, right? So when it comes to details, you can just get a, with, with practice you can get a masters over it and you can start practicing the question. So once you are, like let's say for example, you are doing the concept of chi-square. So once you have understand that what chi-square is, how, what this particular concept is, as soon as you complete the syllabus, you can start attempting the questions so that you get a very clear idea that, okay, these are, if a concept like chi-square comes, so this, these are kind of the questions that are very easily available and you, as a student, you have to practice them and get through with them, right? Like I just discussed, the strategy, it is going to be one day for understanding of the syllabus. 10 days is maximum that I would suggest you to complete this uh, syllabus of quantitative techniques in decision making. Because again, very scoring, all you have to do is develop a hand at the numericals. And uh, once you have the right guidance, these subjects can become like, you, like, like they can, you can easily flow through these subjects, right? So again, two days are your comprehensive answer writing along with numerical practice and followed by your last step in this, that, has, that is like the review. Uh, like by the this time, majorly uh, the students you have completed four, or four to four and a half months, right? This 
about uh, like the paper one complete uh, subject and this q uh, quantitative techniques in decision making by this time your four four and a half months have been devoted so of course in this four four and a half months when you have mastered a lot of concept and you have, have simultaneously taken the right approach you can be very much sure that you have developed the right technique and you are going in the right direction towards completion of this subject okay then we come to the another subject of production and operations management uh, this particular subject sometimes student feels little complex when it comes to this subject uh, the complexity is basically al around the lines of the syllabus right students feel that the syllabus for this particular subject is more but again if you are doing the right approach this is very much easy for you to completed uh, there you have topics of fundamentals of operation management you have organizing for the production you have aggregation production planning plant design line balancing right and then you have uh, sub so okay, line balancing is one of the important topics right uh, then you have equipment replacement and maintenance production control supply chain management again i am telling you pyqs are very important for such subjects where students feel very much uh, the understanding of the fact that this is a complex subject it is not it is more of the fact that you have to get an understanding of the previous year uh, questions trend and you can easily identify the topics on which you have to give more emphasis you, uh, definitely you can't like you know a human brain is not that much capable of learning or uh, cramming all the concept all the uh, you know by heart so i understand that resonating with that fact you have to just get an understanding with the right approach you have to un analyze the uh, the particular questions that have been asked in this subject and you can when, once you identify them you can give more emphasis on those topics because definitely for the examiner also those questions or those particular topics are very much in uh, demand as per the question right then you have flexibility and agility in manufacturing system world class manufacturing project management concepts then you have role and importance of materials management inventory control waste management and so on right again one day particular is for your understanding of the syllabus and then you have 12 to 14 days for completion of this uh, particular subject then you have two days answer writing for, that is comprehensive answer writing and finally the last step is the reviews that are to be done right uh, let's now move on to the third subject for paper 2 that is strategic cost management okay so uh, this is actually for me i feel that this is a very easy subject when it comes to uh, attempting the answer writing concept right so here what happens is it's and it is once you have studied like ob that is that's that's organizational behavior it it is easy it will be easy for you to attempt this uh, paper as well right what happens is for this particular subject and it is very scoring also so we have business policies we have nature and scope of strategic management what i would suggest is what you can do is you can once you are going through these uh, you know when you are understanding the syllabus you make sure that for such subjects you are also having uh, an understanding of the pyqs right once you have an understanding of the pyqs you can identify in this particular subject for paper 2 scm right you can identify the topics that are very frequently asked and they are very much in demand right today okay so for there are majorly what happens is for this particular subject you are asked to write short notes so while preparing for this particular subject what you can do is you can um, you know make a one pager or two pager and you can start uh, writing it down when while while you are preparing for this particular subject and once you are uh, completed you have completed with the syllabus and everything is done at the end of the exam when your exam just approaches you what you can do is you can just uh, take out those notes and you can give like a brief reading about that and you will be good to go to attempt this subject right for this particular subject i would say that uh, you have to make sure that you have the short notes available with you 
right? So we have a process of strategic planning, environment, and ana environment analysis, SWOT analysis, that is strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Then you have strategic profile of a firm, framework of analyzing competition, competitive advantage, concept of core competence, turnaround management, and so on, right? And then you have strategy and corporate evolution of in the Indian context. So since you are preparing for this exam, GS is something that you are going to be very much well versed with. So when uh, you are attempting such subject, or especially subjects like strategic cost uh, management, you can even include those, uh, re like those, those examples or those concepts that you have studied in GS, right? Let's move on to the strategy. One day is basically your understanding of the syllabus, as I suggested, then five days maximum uh, maximum to maximum, it is going to be 15 days for you to complete this subject. Then two days for uh, answer writing. And I just uh, discussed with you, practice short note answer writing when it comes to SCM, right? And then lastly, you have to give it to you, the expert for your reviews of answer writing, right? Then let's move on to the fourth subject, that is IB or international business. See, of course, uh, the syllabus is there, uh, but since very much in context of the real life, there are regional economic uh, corporations and uh, FTAs. So these things are very much, uh, you know, real life based uh, concept, these organizations, and they are very much majorly in news there and here, right? So once you are going through this, sub uh, this particular pr subject, you are able to understand or like combine it with the real life concepts that or the news that you are reading, right? For this particular subject, I would suggest you, like let's just uh, get through the subject where you have IBE, international business environment, then you have foreign, India's foreign trade. And with India today becoming very much a very big player in the global market, this, these uh, topics are very much uh, asked in according with the e-governance and so on. Right? Then you have FTAs, then you have internationalization of service firms, international production, operational management, international companies, international taxation, and then global competitive and technological development. India has very much introduced a lot of digital uh, ventures when it comes to uh, business, right? Make in India and so on. So very much, very much related to the real life. So it will be very easy for you to uh, do the answer writing part of this particular subject. Right? Thank you. Now, um, like I just was mentioning the global e-business market, the global business marketing strategy, export and import process, cross-border border mergers, there are a lot of uh, post COVID and post India, uh, sorry, Russia, Ukraine uh, war, there have been a lot of uh, involvement of India as a global uh, competitor or the very much emergent economy. So yes, the, this, in this particular subject, you can trace it back to those uh, current uh, affairs, con uh, like what, how India is playing a very, very important role in the IB, right, international business world. Then you have world financial markets, country risk analysis. The strategy is definitely going to be, again, one day for you to understand this labors, followed by 15 to 20 days. If you can see, this is this is something that I have majorly uh, taken, uh, like the, bra the, the days for completion of this subject, the bracket is a little more. Why? Because, of course, there are a lot of uh, questions that are asked from international business as per the recent trends that have been taken in the uh, UPSC management optional. So I would really suggest, and many times the questions also, when you go for the, your interviews also, they ask you certain questions uh, around those lines, right? Then you have two days for your comprehensive answer writing and followed by your reviews to be done, that is at the end of the completion of the syllabus. Then let's move on to the fifth subject, that is uh, government business interface, where you are asked about the recent involvement of the government in context of the business world. So e-governance, right? This is one of the very, very prominent questions that, is, that has been asked 
as per the current scenario there are cyber laws also and with uh, the world becoming digital these concepts again become very much relevant right the roles of business as well as government is asked to protect the environment of course the global environment uh, is also at stake when it comes to the business world and what role the different governments of the different countries especially india is playing so you can do an alignment of your gs uh, syllabus or the concept that you are studying in gs along with this particular subject and you can uh, attempt the uh, uh, like complete the syllabus and attempt the answers as you can see here there is uh, state participation in business then you have public distribution system government control over price of course uh, very much in news right now and then you have consumer protection act indian planning system government policy concerning development of backward areas right backward areas or uh, backward regions in the country then you have corporate governance cyber laws right with the uh, different different uh, co private companies also coming in and playing a role in the in maintaining the economy of the country this particular subject becomes very much relevant right then you have the strategy where i have given you and i would highly suggest one day for uh, you to understand the syllabus followed by just 7 days right since you are very much already preparing for your gs this sub, this uh, for this particular subject you can just devote 7 days sometimes 5 days to 7 days for completion of the subject it's pretty good for you to cover the syllabus then you have comprehensive answer writing that is for one days and finally the review part that you are going to do and now let's come to the last subject of your paper 2 that is mis management information system uh, here what happens is uh, i would say that there are factual topics where you have to memorize the concept but again once you are going when you are preparing for the subject and you are simultaneously doing the answer writing those factual subjects are also getting prepared so all you have to do is when once you approach your exam you have to just do a quick revision for the same right uh, for if, if we let if we go through the syllabus of mis or management information system there is the concepts of information system right and then you have types of information system then you have software development manage system development uh, management then you have the trends in information technology definitely in demand today right then you have the managing of the data resource expert system e business architect e governance right as i was just discussing it with you then you have information system planning flexibility and in information system planning evolution ev ev evaluation of information system so of course when you are going through the syllabus and you are simultaneously understanding it as well this for this particular sub subject the strategy becomes very easy where there is one complete day for your for you to understand the syllabus 7 days is maximum not more than 7 days because 7 days is more than sub sufficient for you to complete mis and finally followed by one day of comprehensive answer writing and in the last there is reviews that is to be done simultaneously of course this is by this uh, frankly within 180 days if you are going doing the right approach and you are doing the right uh, guidance under the gu right guidance for sure you are going to within 180 days you are going to complete your entire management optional syllabus where you have even done your uh, entire answer writing simultaneously and you have completed your full revision and your mocks uh, depending upon the questions that are asked of the previous years right so let's just uh, at the end of this now do the previous year uh, trend for paper 2 um, again there is a uh, association of the factual concepts as well as your uh, uh, like the, the thinking part of uh, uh, attempting the before attempting the answer if you can see they have directly asked you what have been the contribution of the expert system with uh, the man respect to the management of covid 19 this was uh, from the year 2020 and then they have asked you the difference between foreign direct investment foreign portfolio investment and asked you to critically examine the existing policies by the government of india for attracting foreign direct investment of course that is very much associated when you are reading your gs and you are preparing for those subjects you will be able to have a lot of variety or you will have an expertise to in in the concept of what you or what all you have to write when it comes to attempting this question then you ha have explained in detail the responsibility of business as well as, as well as government with regards to the environment protection 
as i just suggested this to you that environment protection is very much in demand today so they are going to integrate these topics a lot in your uh, um, questions for sure right and then for the same year they asked you to, to describe the machinery available for redressal of grievances of consumer under the latest consumer protection act right so you can read that act very uh, well and you can attempt this question and they have asked you to critically evaluate the functioning of machinery so of course the the the, the questions will be very much in alignment to the consumer protection for sure then you have the question 5 you can see here the direct question where they have asked you what is supply chain management and how uh, and the strategies that were adopted uh, by leading e-commerce e right and the companies such as amazon flipkart during lockdown period caused by corona pandemic so what happens is now what they are doing is they are relating two different uh, concepts and they are making a question out of it where you they have they want to understand the students association of the concept of supply chain management with the strategies that see the all these e-commerce business companies have adopted for sure you have even observed during the lockdown period these were the companies that were booming right they were actually booming out of the fact that the sales and everything was online so definitely so when it comes to supply chain management the products availability and everything so that is how they are the the examiner is checking your understanding for you that how you are able to relate this real life concept with the concepts theoretically that you are learning right then the sixth question here is the mean annual income of workers so this is basically a practical based question where they are asking you um, to uh, you know identify the trends and use the formula and attempt the paper so this is basically a numerical based question where you are directly going to read the question after studying the topic and attempt the same right then the seventh question is basically they have asked you the fisher's ideal index and why it is called ideal describe the steps involved in the computation of fisher's ideal index so once you have understood it factually you can easily and uh, go through and attempt this question then for the, the brexit that was very popular in 2021 they have asked you the pros and cons of brexit the uh, exit of british uh, from the european union right then you have defined the knowledge based ex expert system it's a part of again mis and they have asked you for the major applications for the In, in the in the context of business this was just last year that was asked and then the 10th question here that i have uh, shared with you is a numerical based question where they have asked you to uh, you know read the particular table and they have asked you to uh, do these mark give evidence to the personal uh, benefit from the training so these were the uh, these all are numerical based questions which you are very able to like very easily able to attempt once you have gone through the practice of these questions okay for the last part of today's session i'm just going to share the reference books that are very much uh, prominent when it comes to uh, completion of these syllabus uh, for paper 1 for especially for management functions and process there is the book is harold coons and uh, it is uh, very much uh, you can download the ebook or you can buy it uh, whichever way you are comfortable with uh, these are the books that are very much suggested and recommended by the toppers and the other students who have passed out the exam even for the faculty also these books are very much uh, taken into consideration then you have organize for organizational behavior and design you have a book by robins which is very much uh, popular there are diagrams flow chart examples it's a it's it's a book of 500 pages but yes you can just start when you once you start reading and understanding you can devote it by you know making the notes and stuff like that so it will be easily managed then for hrm you have ashv thapa again one of the very popular books among upsc aspirants then for accounting for manager uh, manage, managers i would suggest the notes that you that you make for this particular su subject i would recommend any particular one book because then the level of confusion increases so you can just focus on your notes and the numerical parts that you are practicing then for my financial management i i have mentioned that the book is principles of corporate finance by brelly myers then for man marketing management you have a book by kotler philip kotler so you can take that book into consideration 
for paper two uh, students since again I, I just as I mentioned in the beginning of the session today that students have a phobia or have a little uh, you know uh, confusion when it comes to paper two so these are the standard books that I have shared with you um, you can go through these books and you can for any particular subject that you have a lot of confusion or you have a lot of uh, ambiguity you can go ahead and you can read those particular topics where you are facing problems for quantitative techniques and decision making as a part of since it's a statistics topic you can uh, use the book by Pearson and for uh, production operation management I would suggest POM by SN Chari MIS subject there is no particular book that I would recommend uh, you can just do the topic wise research and you can make notes and start preparing for strategy for government business interface and as it is a part of your GS majorly your GS uh, has a lot of concepts related to it so there is no particular book required you can do the topic wise research and you can prepare for strategic management I would say the the book is competitive strategy by Michael Porter very uh, popular book you can easily available uh, you can use that for IB or international business you have a book uh, by um, uh, Arun Jain so you can buy that book and you can download it from um, the website and wherever it is available and you can start preparing for the same um, so that is the end of the session thank you so much everybody for being a part of today's strategy at Diadme IS uh, looking forward to see you all uh, good luck in your preparations. Thank you.